Hey guys, welcome back to another video. I'm super excited because today we're going to be doing a haul of very affordable makeup products. I'm so excited for you guys to see all the products that I got. Plus stay tuned towards the end. I'm gonna be doing a giveaway, so we're gonna go ahead and get started. I mean, I really think you should. Alright guys, all the products that I'm about to show you are from Banggood. It's a website where I got all these things, very affordable. I'll leave all the links down below of the website and the items if you guys want to check it out. The first thing that I'm most excited about is this little compact here. It's pink with the little black bow and I'm super excited for this because once you open it up, it actually has some mirror and it's to store your lashes. I don't know about you guys, but I'm very unorganized when it comes to my lashes and I leave them everywhere and I have to be repurchasing and repurchasing lashes. So when I saw those, I was like, I have to get it. So this one, I know I'm going to love it so much. Then I got this because I've been seeing these everywhere. And this is a suction black mask. And it claims to take all your blackheads away from your nose and your face. So I still haven't given this one a whirl, but I'm going to try it out. And I'll keep you guys posted on Snapchat of all the products, how I'm liking them. But this one, I'm really excited because I use a lot of foundation. So my pores do get clogged up in my nose area. And I have blackheads, so I'm really excited to try it out to see if it works. Next is this one, which I thought the packaging was super cute. It's an eyeliner and it comes in a little pomade. And it kind of looks like the Maybelline Eye Studio. Not, you know, exactly the same, but the little bottle reminds me of it. And it came with this brush right here. But to be honest, I never use these brushes. I use my own. So I really like the packaging. It looks really pretty. I'm actually going to just swatch it with my finger. And it feels very, very nicely. I want to see if it's Okay, well, it's not like jet black, but it's um, actually black. So I was expecting a more darker color. I think the only, only, only eyeliner that I've ever found that's like jet black is the Inglot one. So, I mean, it's actually not that bad for the price that it was, but I still have to put it to the test to see what it looks like once you put it on the eye. Then I got these brushes. Are they not the prettiest thing? They have like an ombre effect on them from blue all the way to pink. I really like them, but only if you guys could feel how soft these brushes feel for the price that they were. I am absolutely stunned and shocked. I cannot wait to try these, but mostly like base brushes. I'm so excited. They're super soft. Plus, I really like that they're so pretty. I like the detail that they have going on. So these I'm definitely going to be using a lot, especially because they're just brushes in general. Now, this is a eyeliner brush. I've been wanting one of these for the longest, which I guess we should put it to the test with this one, right? So this comes very in handy because it's so much easier to do your line for your wing and all that stuff. So I'm just going to put it to the test real quick to see if it works or not. So let's see if I would draw a line like this. So the, the liner in general doesn't look very pigmented, as you guys can see. But the brush, oh my god, I love it. I like that it's so skinny and precise. This will definitely help you a lot when it comes to doing your eyeliner. Speaking of eyeliners, I got this one because I'm super excited to use this for the holidays. This is like a sparkling glitter eyeshadow. And it looks like this. The wand is not the thinnest wand, which is something that when I opened it, I was like, mm, it's not really thin. But I can make it work, or I can always just stick this brush in here just to make it more precise. But I like the pigmentation that it has. I was not expecting it to be this glittery for the price that it was, but I'm actually pretty shocked, and I cannot wait to create holiday looks with this one. Then I got these beauty blenders, you could say. But maybe it's just because I haven't gotten them wet, but just by touching them, I can already tell I'm not going to like them. They're very rubbery and very plasticky and they're not like the Real Techniques. Real Techniques is my favorite brand of beauty blenders, so these definitely don't feel like it. I mean, the price pretty much says it all. They weren't that expensive, but maybe if I get them wet underneath water and I give them a try, maybe they'll work. But for now, they, they are not really working for me. Next, I got this Chill Moth in number 32, and this is a metallic lipstick. Oh my god, it's like a lip gloss, all glittery. Okay, let's see. Let's watch it to see. Wow. Okay, so I'm going to tell you that I'm very quite impressed for the pigmentation of this lip gloss. Look at that. It is so pretty. It's like a pink color. Okay, to be honest, I was expecting more of a light pink. I'm not really quite sure if I'm going to wear this pink just because it's a little bit more vibrant and it looks a little bit more darker. 
I thought it was a light bubblegum pink and I was like, okay, maybe that on top of a nude lipstick, it will look really pretty. But this one, I'm not sure. Maybe if I wear it under a really nude, nude lipstick, maybe it will work, but I'll let you guys know. But I really like the pigmentation. Pretty impressed for the price that it was. Next is this black gold shimmer stick. This is an SS04 and I cannot wait to see what this one looks like. Ooh, it looks like this. Okay, so it claims to be a highlighter. This is a shimmer stick. Okay, it feels very velvety. I can already tell it looks like this. So pretty, it blends out very nicely. So I'm thinking I was gonna wear this as kind of like a highlight on my cheekbone, but I'm thinking this will be great for like um, your collarbones or like here in your shoulders. I think that will look very nicely. Also when you wanna go more for like maybe a natural look on the eyelids, it will be perfect. But I like the color, it, it's actually very, very gold. It, it's like the packaging says, black gold. But for a highlight on my cheekbones, I don't think it'll look good with my skin tone, so I'm probably gonna be using it for something else. Next, I got another lipstick, but this one is in matte. This was in the number 12, and it's kind of like a purple color. I got this one because you guys know winter is coming, and you know, the dark colors come out, and everyone wants to wear like wine colors and mauve colors. So this one, ooh, this one's actually pretty nice. I think I'll probably wear this one, honestly, with just eyeliner on the eyes, everything very natural for the lips to be the main focus of everything so as you guys can see it's very pretty color it does not take many swipes to get the great pigmentation that you want now does it turn matte i don't know quite sure i have to wait for a little bit so we'll check in while i'm doing the other stuff to see if it actually dries up being matte next i got a concealer stick i'm super excited because i'm always on the go so i was like a concealer stick will probably come in handy so we're gonna go ahead and swatch it i believe there was like one or two um, shades only and this one was in light so it's definitely very creamy once you start building it up and it actually has quite some coverage. Whoa, I was not expecting to have this much coverage. Do you guys see that? And I believe this one was like five or eight dollars. So definitely for the price that it is, it is well worth it. I'm actually gonna be using this one to put it on the test to see how it covers my under eye circles. So I'm super excited for this one because I'm really, really impressed. Then I got lashes. I actually already used two of the pairs because I couldn't hold on to using them. So I'm actually wearing them on my eyes right now. So what I've noticed about these lashes, that the first pair came with these right here. As you guys can see, they're different designs. They actually are very natural, you could say. They might not look natural, but they feel very natural. The band is actually pretty thin, so it doesn't bother you when you close and open your eyes. So that I really appreciate, and they were very, very affordable. Another pair of lashes that I got are these. These are mink lashes. They're an MT005. Okay, I don't know how I really feel about these. In the website, they look super, super pretty, but now that i'm really seeing them in person i don't know if i'm a big fan of them let me show you this is what they look like as you guys can see they're very very furry i have a lot of hair so i don't know how this is actually going to sit on my eyes and if they're going to bother me when i close them and open them or if every time i open my eyes i'm going to see like a little bit of the lashes just there so i'm not quite sure how these are going to work these i will definitely just use them when i'm going more for like a night look more dramatic i got a bb cream this is a nude makeup concealer moisturizing bb cream okay now this one tripped me off a little bit because it says nude makeup concealer moisturizing bb cream so it probably it claims to conceal and be a bb cream at the same time which it kind of threw me off so i got it in the shade 01 charm and i'm going to open it to see what it looks like now the packaging looks really nice i don't know if this is actually what it's going to look like once i take it out oh and it actually does it quite does i mean it's not that off but it, it kind of looks like it and there was only two shades in this one. There was only two shades in this one. And, okay, the packaging looks really weird like that. Ugh, I don't know. You guys ever heard of triphobia? If not, Google triphobia. I have the worst triphobia. So me looking at this right now, I'm cringing inside. And I'm just like trying not to scream because it just makes me feel somehow where I can't explain it. So Google it and see if we have triphobia or not. I don't the color looks pretty nice, but it looks really pink, actually. So... This one might not match me, guys. Okay, it has a scent, but it's a very light scent. You can really not smell it. It mostly smells like lotion with like sunscreen, which is typically what BB creams smell like majority of the time. 
but I actually I was pretty excited for this one but I don't think it's gonna color match me maybe for like the summer but typically I reached out for BB creams either way when I go to the beach that's usually when I go all out for BB creams okay I have two more items and then we are done this is the concealer contour kit I'm super excited for this one when I saw it I was like I have to get it just to test it out and see if it works or not and this one looks like this actually it is in the shade 116 and they look like this super excited because i love contour oh what is this that i don't know if that's normal it comes with like little bubbles but it's not even like sweat bubbles it's like just in there that's weird but I wanted this mostly to contour my face just because it came with six different shades to contour so that's really good because I can use one of these to warm up my whole face and then one to just contour and make my cheekbones more precise and more in depth and it also comes with these to conceal my under eye circle I'll probably use these for my under eye area just because it's more like a peachy undertone but I'm so excited to try these and it was also very very inexpensive last but not least this is the one that I'm the most excited for it is a glitter palette but it is the pressed glitter palettes and it looks like this <gasps> Look at this, you guys. It is gorgeous. Oh my god. Okay, so I'm gonna just go with my fingers. The first four rows are probably, I have a makeup remover wipe. I'll swatch all of them actually. So I love that it's pressed glitter. Look at that. It's pressed glitter. Look at this shade right here. It reminds me of a mermaid, guys. It is so pretty. I cannot. I love the fact that they're pressed glitters because if you have ever worked with glitters, holy moly, you will know that working with glitters, it is so messy. So when I saw that they sold a pressed glitter palette, I was like, yes, I'm so going to try it. I've seen these palettes everywhere. I think different brands sell these. But this one was very, very inexpensive, so I was super excited to get this one. I cleaned my hand. Now we're going to do the second row, and they feel so nice. Look at that. Whoa, these are so gorgeous, you guys. Oh my god, I cannot wait to play with these. Holidays are coming around the corner. That's when I go all crazy with makeup. Usually, I always do more like of a natural look. But for the holidays, I go all out and I'm super excited. This last row right here, this one reminds me of the holidays. Actually, I'm going to swatch this one. Oh my god, I'm so excited. Whoa, look at that. They look so gorgeous. Oh my god, I cannot wait. So the reason I'm super, super excited is because I'm actually going to be giving away one of these palettes for you guys. I got one for you. It's brand new, non-opened. So if you want to win this glitter press palette, all you have to do is like this video, subscribe, turn your post notifications on, and comment down below what types of videos are your favorite ones to watch on my channel. And that's pretty much it. All you have to do to enter a giveaway to win the palette. I'm so excited for you guys to win this because, again, I'm going to show you. Just so you can see, look how beautiful this is. I'm going to be doing, actually, a tutorial very soon either here or on Snapchat, so stay tuned for that. I think that's it for this video, guys. Thank you guys so much for staying with me and tuning in today. So much for all the love and all the support you guys give me. Lately, I've been receiving so much love in the latest videos. Thank you so much. I really, really do appreciate it. We are almost at 100K. I know we can make it happen, guys. I know. So make sure to go tell your best friend, your mom, your grandma, your aunt to subscribe to the Pita Chips so we can keep on growing. Again, thank you for everything that you guys do for me. I think that's it for this video. But don't forget to turn your post notifications on so you can get a shout out in the next video today's shout out goes to dana salem thank you girls so much for having your post notifications on and tuning in with me in every single video i do have a vlogging channel if you guys want to get to know me a little bit better if not you can just stick with me here on the beauty channel all my social medias are linked down below so you guys can follow me and good luck guys and i will see you guys on the next video bye I just